What's going on guys? I'm Alan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out another beautiful guitar. This is the Reverend Greg Koch Signature Gristle Master Electric Guitar. Reverend is the brand. Uh, Greg Koch is not a reverend, in case that's confusing. Uh, this video is sponsored by Arkansas Music Works. Music Works is a music store located in Bentonville, Arkansas. They have a big selection of guitars and tons of other instruments as well. Uh, stop by their store or email them at info at arkansasmusicworks.com. Mention this review video and you'll get 10% off your purchase of this guitar. They do offer shipping within the U.S. as well if you aren't local. I'll list all their information down in the description. All right, so as far as this guitar goes, we're going to go over the uh, the pricing, the specs, and of course, I'm going to let you guys hear this thing in action. Let's jump into the video. I'll talk about the price first. This guitar costs $1,699.99, so it's a little more on the expensive side, but it's a very nice guitar. And if you get this through Arkansas Music Works, if you mention this video, again, you'll get that 10% discount, so that'll cut off the price a little bit. And then they're also going to throw in a Reverend case, which is valued at $219. So you're going to get a really good deal on this guitar if you guys do decide to get this um, through MusicWorks. Now, if you haven't heard of Greg Koch, he's an American guitarist. Uh, he does a lot of like chicken picking type stuff, so this guitar is kind of geared towards that. Uh, he has termed his style of playing gristle, is what he calls it, uh, and he calls himself the gristle king. <laughs> um, and his music's usually just like kind of instrumental really guitar-driven music. All right, let's go ahead and go over the specs of the guitar. So the body is solid body, but it is chambered. And then the body shape, they call this the uh, Gristle Master, just kind of like a Telecaster look. But it does have like, you know, this part right here. Instead of being all one level, it's kind of like raised, if you guys can see that. Uh, the material, this is made out of Carina wood and has a gloss polyurethane finish on it. And this color is called Blucifer, which is a pretty cool name. Then let's go over the neck. This is a roasted maple neck, which feels really nice. It's uh, really smooth. They call this uh, neck shape a, me a medium oval, which feels really good. I don't have any problems with this neck at all. Uh, while we're on the back, also, this is a, a bolt-on neck, and that's what they call a six-way bolt-on neck. Then the fingerboard is made out of roasted maple. Again, feels really nice, nice and smooth. And you have... Uh, black dot inlays, 22 frets. These frets are made out of nickel alloy, 25 and a half inch scale length, and the nut material is made out of bonite. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Let's take a look at the hardware. You have a uh, input jack right here and also a charging port. So these pickups are active. We'll talk about that a little bit more uh, later in the video. And then the bridge, this is a Wilkinson bridge with staggered brass saddles. The tuners, these are pin lock tuners which are really good for fast string changes. Let me show you guys the back there. Uh, then we also have, I forgot to mention this, uh, this is kind of a unique feature, this little, uh, what do they call it, a triple tree string tree, just supposed to uh, prevent buzz on the G string. I haven't noticed any buzz, so <laughs> it seems to be working. It looks kind of cool also. Let's take a look at the electronics. We have two Fishman single coil pickups. These are both Greg Cox signature and like I was saying, these are active pickups as well. They advertise up to 250 hours of playtime on one charge. Obviously, I don't have a way to test that. There's no way I can spend 250 hours on a video. That'd be nuts. Um, but so far, I haven't had to charge them, so uh, they seem to be holding out well. And then for the controls on here, you have uh, you know volume and tone, just like normal. And then you also have a three-way switch, which is pretty normal for like Telecaster-style guitars. And then you also have one button right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this actually pushes in. And this gives you kind of a mid-range boost switch, um, which gives you some more options for tones. Uh, one of them is like a 60 sounding kind of voicing, which gives you a little more like chimey kind of clear sound. And then the other one is a 50 sound, which is a little more muscular, a little bit punchier. Okay, I think that's everything. We went over all the specs of the guitar. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys hear what this thing sounds like. We'll jump into some sound tests. All these tones were created using the Gristle Master running into the Line 6 Helix. Hope you enjoy these tunes. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope you all enjoyed hearing this guitar. I really enjoyed playing it and getting to make this video for you guys. This guitar looks, feels, and sounds really nice. Don't really have any negatives at all to say about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't forget to stop by Arkansas Music Works or email them at info at arkansasmusicworks.com. Mention this review video. You get 10% off your purchase of this guitar and also that Reverend case thrown in that is valued at $219. So a great deal for you guys. Hopefully uh, you'll take them up on it if you're interested in this guitar. Uh, huge thanks again to them for sponsoring this video video. Uh, their info is going to be listed down in the description as well. Be sure to check all that out. Uh, also, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I have a lot of review videos coming out this year, so hopefully uh, you guys will find some more content that you'll find interesting. Also, let me know what products you all would like to see videos for. Um, now that I'm able to get access to a little more stuff, um, you know, just let me know what you want to see. <laughs> Can I uh, review some fun stuff? I think that's it. Uh, huge thanks to the patrons for your support. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.